Hi everyone, welcome to the Astro Room. Once again, your very own portal to the cosmos. And I'm doing a series of videos on how to do video stacking, whether it's on solar, lunar, planetary, or your deep sky images. These are gonna be how-to guides. This is a video in the series. And I'm going to do now planetary, okay? So if you haven't seen the other video on solar, you can check that out too on how to do the sun, the video image stacking of the sun. I have a video of that too. You can check that out. But right now we're going to do planetary. So let's do Jupiter. And it's basically the same concept as when you're doing your solar video stack. So what you're going to want to do is after you've already recorded your video of Jupiter, I have a 30 second one that we're going to use as a sample. Make sure you also record it in raw mode and I'll show you. So once you have it done, you're going to hit on my album. You're going to also then go to not downloaded, but whatever is under your C star folder up here. And you see, I have a couple of planetary videos here. I'm going to click on that. And you see, I have a raw saved video, 30 second video of Jupiter. Okay, right here in the corner in the top left where my cursor is, you see it says raw. So make sure that when you video record Jupiter, it's raw. I'm going to open it. You're going to actually click on stack. You see up here on the top right, click on stack and you let it do its thing. Okay, so we're done with the stacking. This was a 30 second video, like I mentioned, and it took a little bit under four minutes. Uh, it's right here, it says total stack time was 237 seconds. It says your stacked file is now saved in planetary folder. We're gonna go check. And there it is, that's the stacked image of Jupiter. Okay, so we can now save this, right? You can download, you can export as raw share it with family and friends, send it as a text. I'm gonna go ahead and download this image to my phone. We can edit the image, play around with a little post-processing here. That was my contrast. Let's see the saturation now. Check it out. So there it is. It almost has a little bit more of a natural color. Once again, this scope was not built for planetary imaging, but this is not bad. If we're satisfied with that, we can hit done. And there it is. Let's try another type of quick post processing, everyone. I'm going to do this straight directly, not with any apps, but just with my phone. So here's the stacked image on my phone. Let's see how I can do a little bit of post processing here. If I edit, this is on an Apple device. Let's do a quick one. I clicked on auto. Exposure, contrast, saturation. What do you guys think? Very simple, very basic. So here's another one I did. So that's it. This is just very light post-processing on my phone itself. And there you have it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And if you think this content is valuable, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and that will continue helping YouTube continue to push these videos out to everyone else and continue to also recommend new videos when it comes out, some more new ones from the Astro Room straight to you. Thank you so much.